Ready for the thumping. You know, I'm glad that we can reach a level that an artist can endorse a political party. They have been asking me to do dub for Kamala. I won't touch anything where Jamaican politics is concerned. You know, I'm a victim of political violence. I remember um, political gunmen came up to the house for my father and the shot missing because of my mother grabbing my father. It is pretty but so ugly. Bunting out and stunting. Hope them getting some money in a them COVID time and when the show now keep me hope say somebody a little have some money so them can at least pay them rent or mortgage for two. Because you know the dub place that has been the culture of our dance off from Wacky Kill Philip. It's just a new phenomenon that it reached the political stage. I think it's cute. I don't even know who started it. The 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 thing dance hall for a very long time has not been the anti-establishment music. Let's get real. Dance hall has gotten extremely capitalistic over the last couple of years. You know, I'm a victim of political violence and it's a scarring that has not left me. And I realize that almost every election, I just get, I go in a zone and have to be saying to myself, it's not the realities of the 1980s. It's not the reality when you run down the gully. And I get teary just even speaking about it because it, it's such a hard thing to have gone through. So like anybody asks me to do dub, it's almost like they don't really know the story because I really, it's just now, after all these years, I'm able to speak about what happened to my family in the 1980s. So I won't touch anything where Jamaican politics is concerned. I feel safer doing like an American politics. If, if they ask, somebody asks me, they've been asking me to do dub for Kamala. And I would do a dub for, Kamala. Not well. I would do it up for Kamala because she represents to me um, the dreams of the immigrants. So from that paradigm, but like for Jamaica and the scarring of the 1980s with the green and the orange war, the civil war that we had. Mm -mm. No. This is not my story only. This is a story of the Jamaican people that the different political parties waged war on each other. I remember um, political gunmen came up to the house for my father, who they said was aligned to a specific party. This is a story because I was sleeping at that time. They asked for him and he said who it is. And they said, come outside. And he's like, I don't know who you are, come outside. The next thing, that happened is that they threw a brick inside, and at that time you never have um, grills. And they threw a brick inside of the glass window, broke it out, and started coming in. Now my father, when my mother saw that she was awake, she ran for my little sister who was a baby, put her in her arms, and ran to see my father take a bottle, throw it and fling it, and get one of the boy them one like bop, which infuriated him. So by the time she grabbed him, he shot and the shot missing because of my mother grabbing my father. And uh, she grabbed him in the back room where that is when I woke up and the kids woke up. It's a room that we shared with our grandmother. And when we, woke, when, I, when we woke up, we woke up in time to see my mother pushing the door and then she took the bed where my grandmother was and she pushed it on. And she, at that time we just hear quack, quack, quack. They were destroying the living room, destroying everything in the living room, firing gunshots. And we woke up to that. My mother opened the back door and she said, Una run. My little brother stayed and nobody knew. Because he loved mama so much, which is my grandmother. And um, the gunmen came in and held the gun in my grandmother's chest. And the little six year old backed away the gun and looked at the gunman and said, No, kill my granny, please. Ball in his eyes out. Please don't kill her. A six year old, right? Then they heard scuffling in the closet, which is my nine year old cousin. And they went in and said, the boy in there, the boy in there, which they thought was my father. So they went in there, grabbed out the nine-year-old, put a gun at her head. And she, I hear she, her knees collapsed. And I don't know how they were so merciful. And she dropped. And then they were looking for this boy. And she got up and just ran. I don't know what happened, why they didn't. Because they killed a little old lady. That based a harmless old lady just aligned to a party. They went and just killed her mercilessly. We never knew about post-traumatic stress syndrome and all of that. And those two young people, we, in my family, they have been through, like psychologically and emotionally, 
I think they have been through the worst and we never understood that it was that night. And even me, like after that, nobody got therapy or whatever. We never, never know about therapy. In you know, them times that Jamaica, therapy and all of that. For years, I walked around and I was sometimes just shaking. And it's the same thing, like you speak to members of my family, like their level of trauma sometimes was just like, you know, beyond what was normal. I never voted for years. I never voted. First time I ever voted, and it was because um, the respect of my ancestors and what they've been through to give me my vote. And I said to myself, I was not voting for any peas, although I had to vote for a specific pea. But I was motivated from a different paradigm. Why you cause so much despair? It's a different kind of atmosphere right now. You know, I'm glad that we can reach a level that an artist can endorse a political party and hopefully without any repercussions. Hopefully, because it's still early days. I don't know if you do a P, if somebody in the other P in an administrative position gonna look upon you and say, you just sing the song of the this thing there and I'll have you up. I don't know as person to person, but in terms of the society, you know, you see people you know, really not invested in hurting each other because of your political um, uh, um, allegiance. Why you cause so much despair? 